of uh, these before. A, a tip for my friend Phil Towers and Josh, Josh Sue. They brought me down today because I really felt I should be. Uh, what, uh, what did you feel when you saw this? What? Well, I, I saw it uh, when, uh, right at the beginning and I said, this is the thing that should have been happening years ago. It's taken such a long, long while because the people have been so put upon and lied to. And, uh, had the, and the young people going around in this period without jobs and when their things are so expensive, people being thrown out of their homes, people without enough clothing to buy, even to look for jobs. See? It, it's a bit, and not enough food to eat, probably, because our food is being poisoned, our waters are being poisoned. All for the almighty book that nobody can use. They cannot use billions of dollars. And there is no reason in the world for them to be so damn selfish and and see, keep on accumulating money and making and playing games with with the human race. All of these people have been working for a living. All of these people coming down. Ninety-nine percent I've known this from way back because I went through the depression years. Now. Are you, are you encouraged though? I mean, are you optimistic by seeing all these people I'm here? I'm very optimistic. Uh, I see people fighting for what is due them, what should be due them every day. They all want to make a living. They want to make an honest living, these people. And they work hard when they're there because bosses do not let you work unless you're working very hard. Today some young people are working three jobs in order to support the horrible rents that they're being charged. Uh, being charged. So I'm very, very unhappy about the whole situation that is happening to the people today. I work, I've been unhappy at, in my period. I saw people who committed suicide, people were throwing themselves out of windows. I saw wonderful human beings who were able to teach, give me lessons free of charge when they couldn't afford to do it, just to keep fresh so that they continued with their work. And I'm uh, very happy, very happy to see these wonderful human beings who have been walking past the school all afternoon and because they want to know and are concerned with what is happening to the uh, situation of their, their making livings, having a roof over their head, having enough clothes to wear in the winter, and, and, general, and having enough decent food to eat. I am working with the Clearwater people. I'm very concerned with the clean. Um, we have been discussing for this past year fracking. And we're very concerned with it, having lectures on it, educating people as to what is happening with the water. And it's a shame what's happening to the water. And uh, we'll, we'll wind up like Mars with a dried up earth, with a dried up earth. Or, or water buried under the earth instead of having clean, pure, cl clear water to bathe in, to wash and to keep clean. And uh, it's a pathetic thing what's happening with the water. How well, dare they? I hate to cut you off, but I can only use a little bit. Um, but I want to get your spelling of your name correct. Can you My name is B-E-R. N I C E Bernice Silver, S I L V E R, and I'm very much concerned with water. I have been for the last 35 years working with the Clearwater people. They've done a magnificent job, but we've been small. 
We haven't, we haven't had uh, enough people working with us, and we want them to continue to do so, so we'll have pure food and pure living conditions. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, sir. Who am I speaking to? Facebook page. Okay. Okay.